So today we're testing out and finding out if you should buy this new card in Team of the Season, Julius Kunde. Literally, this card is two-star skill moves. That is garbage, but he's a defender, you know what I'm saying? Three-star weak foot. Now that is complete garbage because we want these defenders to be at least be able to pass with both feet. You're a Team of the Season and you're still three-star? Goodness gracious. He's right-footed, high-high work rates, five foot 11. As a center back, that looks a bit scary. He can play center back and right back, so we will be playing him in both positions in this review. Now, the way his stats is looking, simply, I like the anchor on him, simply because he already has a wondrous amount of pace, and his defense is very good as well, but we want to put that physicals up as much as possible because he's 5'11 as a center back, so these other tall players can't bully him as easily. He has the dives into tackle trait, power up, and giant throwing. This is the team we're running with. Let's see how he performs. Let's get into the game play. Our opponent, Unai Samon, Runiga, Ede Militi, Kamavinga, De Paul, Sorlas, Diego Forlan, Rapinha. Let's get to it. And now Conde's defense finally gets put to the test. And when, let me tell you something. His defensive jockey, responsiveness, listen for you, listen for you. It's wondrous. Oh my goodness. Now, what we want to see out of this defensive situation is Kunde's positioning. And as you can see, he stays in the right areas just to block off that passing lane. I move in there and it's wondrous by Kunde, Julius Kunde. So right here, Kunde was like, all you hoes, all of you hoes, need to remember who y'all trying to get through. He's a defensive beast. I know this is a defender review, but we're not going without scoring goals. You know what I'm saying? Goal from Marcus Lorenzo. Uh, let's go and just how we need it defensive beast Kunde comes in and shows his defensive capabilities gets it but not once twice Kunde Julius Kunde lovely now I just want you to see how he's able to trap back and recover trap back jumping look at him takes it and then look instantly zooms back his speed is insane then a quick beauty just to be put on display our nice left back Keta Baldadayo sends it in Wow, Baldadio with a beautiful pass. Alex Baldadio and Ho. Marcus Loriente on. Now watch Kunde go to work with this wonderful positioning and AI. Oh, lovely. Oh my goodness, he would have scored there if we didn't block it. Now we try Kunde as a right back. Magnan, Bonucci, Lacroix, Turan, Benassa, Mbia Pepe, Obope, Alomarion, Gabriel Martini. So right here, we managed to concede because I player switched to the wrong player and then zoomed back. We're thinking I was going to be with somebody else and it messed me up, but he scored. Now, wondering how Kunde would perform in the right back position, he shows no different. Wondrous defensive animations to take the ball. Beauty. And now he runs in behind. Look at his pace. Kunde! He has a different running form for some reason. He sends it in and then it's a poor shot by Sorla. Three star weak foot. Oh no. Kunde's jockey is absolutely insane. Oh! Now this is the press ability Kunde has. Do you see how quickly he can zoom out to the attacker? It's beautiful. Nice, Kunde. Now, this is what I like from a center back. You see how Kunde is tracking back and he wins the header and doesn't mess up like an absolute buffoon. He does well there. Griezmann! You gotta love these stats that a gold magnan is keeping him in the game like this. Unbelievable video game. <laughs> now, on the on offensive side of the ball, watch Kunde go to work. He's able to run down. He has tremendous pace. I don't know what it was. But we just had to do this because of the way the game was playing out. The amount of lucky saves this keeper was saving, you had to do down the line, bro. It was crazy. But anyways, we get the goal. That was crazy from Kunde. Easy burn. So my thoughts on Julius Kunde. Listen, man, Julius is actually... Oh, I didn't expect it to be this good, bro. Wondrous center back. Like, his defense was at His jockey movement so fast and responsive. He's crazy. I played him on left center back and right back, and both were dangerous. If you play him on right back, he can literally run down the line because he's fast as a mofo. Goodness gracious, this card is disgusting. As a center back, also very dangerous, can move very swiftly. Maybe he might lose in the air sometimes, but he still disrupts because he has the 99 jumping. They purposely gave him that high jumping so he can disrupt the taller players. Broken card, definitely worth it. 1.4 is crazy for a center back, but still worth it, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a single damn. I don't give a damn, bro. Dangerous. He's probably going to drop to like 1.2 at some point, but he's worth it. I also reviewed these cards right here, and it took me one game to guarantee a team of the season also right here. Be sure to check that out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm most definitely out. Adios, amigos.